From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. You take care of getting the lands. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. She... She has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Meanwhile, let us remain on our guard against any last-minute surprises. I know my brother well. He never prepares for war if he has no chance of winning. Finding out that I'm a demon makes no difference. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. If I'm asking you all these things, it's for your own good, you know. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. Don't make me your competition, Derichet. You are no match. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. Dear friends, I'd like to thank you for your continued trust and confidence. I admit that during these past few days, there has been much upheaval. I understand you've all been affected by this. Nevertheless, the world doesn't stop turning, and we are in fact on the verge of reshaping the modern world. That is what we are all here for, my lord. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Monsieur Bonaparte. Now you all know what we have to do. I cannot warn you strongly enough. If one of Sir Gregory's guests asks to speak with you, remain on your guard. It is highly likely that he will try to rally as many supporters to his cause as he can. Don't worry, William. We are all here to support your project through to its conclusion. Thank you, George. Now, please, go and get some rest before the conference begins, which won't be long now. Louis, stay with me a moment, won't you? I'll be needing your services in a certain matter. Yes, of course. What's the matter? Louis, you are the only one here who I totally trust. It is very likely that Gregory will take possession of some of the members of our team. I shall keep them in check over the next few hours. However, I'll need you to... How can I say this? To persuade the members of Gregory's group. What do you mean by that exactly? You'll have free reign, my son. Persuade all of them. Use every possible means imaginable. But no physical violence. Let's be very, very clear about that. You must bring them all over to our side. One after the other. And what if I fail? I have faith in you, my son. Great faith. That notwithstanding, should any of them resist, we'll decide what to do afterwards. Now go, and come back and see me once you've finished. I'll be off then. Emma? Come in, Louis. What can I do for you? What, with the conference soon upon us? I, I would have thought that... You are absolutely right. I wanted to wait a bit before talking to you, but as you are here, I've been thinking about what we shall do once we get back. How to arrange the house, prepare the rooms for the children. Yes, I want three, and the first one will be a boy. We shall call him Louis, like his father. Oh, man, this just keeps getting worse. She's drifting deeper into madness. Right. I can't exactly leave her like this, let alone allow her to be manipulated for the sake of this cursed conference. Mortimer has to help her. Please excuse me, madam. Just remembered. I've got something to do. Come back quickly, my love! Uh, I'll see you later, madam. I must warn Mortimer that she can't go on like this. I'm sure he can help her. Duke Manuel. De Riche. I'm delighted to see you're standing by Lord Mortimer. One cannot say that this situation is altogether reassuring, but I must admit, he does know what he's doing. Something tells me I've made the right choice. So, to thank you for persuading me to join you, what would you say to a nice piece of amber? I am given to understand that you collect it? Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it to it, sir. It is the least I can do. Good. See you at the vote.
I'll see you later then. Right. Godoy is on board. Your Eminence, would you have a moment? I shouldn't really, Louis. As you can imagine. Rest assured, I come just as a friend. All right then, Louis. But be quick. Thank you, Your Eminence. Ah. Uh, it's got nothing to do with it, but... <sighs> you... You didn't come and see me in my room a few hours ago, did you? Hmm. Does he remember anything? Uh, oh no. No, I I'm sorry. Y you must be mistaken. I've been speaking to Lord Mortimer in his study. I... I must have dreamed it then. It seems so real. Don't blame yourself, Your Eminence. We're all exhausted. I can assure you of that. That's very kind of you, Louis. I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment, but... I feel rather fragile. Poor man seems terrified. It'd be a good idea if I reassured him a little before trying to get him to change sides. Oh, what did you want from me exactly? Your Eminence, don't worry over such small matters. God sees you and knows the value of his servants. <sighs> Thank you, my son. You've worked all your life to spread the good word. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'm sure you'll find the answer to your dreams. God is with you, and he will show you what you need to know. You are right, Louis. Thank you for your kind words. Please excuse me, Louis, if I've wasted your time. You came to see me about the confidence, I imagine. And here I go rambling on about uh, I don't know what nonsense. No need to apologize, Your Eminence. Think nothing of it. <sighs> what did you want to speak to me about? Right. It's now or never to get him to change his mind. Dear Lord, don't abandon me. I am your humble servant. Show me the way. I must admit that opposing you pains me, and it pains Lord Mortimer a great deal as well. I can well imagine. You should know that I am not happy about it either. He's an upright man who, like yourself, spends his time helping others and doing good around him. But you know that better than I do. I owe him a lot, you know. Your Eminence, if you feel you owe him something, let me tell you it's not too late to show it. It's thanks to him that I took the Holy Orders. We met when I was very young, here, on this island. After our encounter, I had the firm conviction that my duty was to take the Holy Orders. Uh, to tell you the truth, I owe him everything. Have you ever thanked him for it? Never. You must find me ungrateful. I would never dare, Your Eminence. <sighs> you came to persuade me to join him, didn't you? I don't have that power, but I do sincerely believe that Lord Mortimer serves a righteous cause. You are an angel who brings peace to the soul, my son. Listen to your heart, Your Eminence. You are right. To hell with all this political manipulation. I... Yes, I must listen to my conscience. Yes, listen to that little voice in your head. What does it say? Yes, Louis. I will vote for William's project. I will follow you. I'm sure it will mean a great deal to Lord Mortimer, Your Eminence. Once again. Thank you, my son. Please leave me now. I must pray. Of course, Your Eminence. I'll be on my way now. <sighs> I need to talk to Von Volner. Blast it. Home is with him. Gentlemen. Louis! I'm sorry, but we are waiting for Duke Manuel. If you wouldn't mind leaving us, I should think you already have enough to do as it is. Very well. I didn't mean to disturb you. They're waiting for Duke Manuel. No doubt to make him change sides. <sighs> All right. If they want him, then they'll get him. Yes, monsieur. Is there something you wanted to add? Concentrate. I need you to listen carefully to what I have to say, Godoy. I am all ears. Louis, push. I need you to do me a little favor. It's working. That's it, Louis. Get in his head. Oh, dear. What is happening to me? I, I do not feel very well. I need your help, sir. Get in his head. Oh, perfect. Thank you, monsieur. I'm sure I'll know how to take full advantage of your vessel, now that I am Manuel. Duke Manuel, here you are at last. Sir Gregory, Mr. Von Volner. Thank you for agreeing to this meeting. I shan't beat about the bush, my friend. I was very disappointed by your behavior. 
I had thought you more loyal. Consequently, my affection for you leads me to ask you to reconsider one last time. I've already reconsidered it, Sir Gregory. I shall be loyal to you when it comes to the vote. Have no doubt about it. Excellent news indeed, my friend. Did you hear, Johan? Yes, and it comes at a most timely moment. I anticipate an overwhelming victory. It goes without saying to keep it to yourself. I would like to give William a nice surprise. Whatever you say. I'll leave you with Johan a while. I still have a few things to settle. I shan't be long. See you later, Sir Gregory. Oh, good boy. Come over here. I'm warming myself up. I had the misfortune to step outside and I'm frozen solid. I wonder what he was doing outside. Something to do with what Holm asked him for, maybe. Mr. Von Volner, I wanted to speak to you. I'd like to make you an offer you can't refuse. I'm all ears. Now, we don't have much time, so here it is. You will vote for Mortimer. What a strange idea, Kodoy. You are being ridiculous. Tell me now, why would I do that? Damn, traitor is about to drop us. Louisiana is Spanish. Consequently, I am best placed to know what to do with it. It's turning into a personal stake between Gregory and William. Honestly, would you like it if someone told you what to do with Royal Prussia and Greater Poland? Well, it depends. No, don't try smoothing things over. You are a statesman. You know what I mean. Today, Spain is weighed down by Louisiana, a source of epidemics, insurrections. It prevents us from concentrating on exploiting the wealth in the Western territories. And I have to let Gregory decide? I understand your point of view. But as far as I'm concerned, I would rather be honest. You are wasting your time, Duke Manuel. You know nothing about me, and your attempts to manipulate me have no effect. You behave as though we were close. Yet ever since you arrived, you've only been interested in your own little self. Don't say that, Johan. We may not be friends, but we are allies. Is that so? And what do you know about me, exactly? If he knew I was Gregory's son, he wouldn't try it on like this. I know, for example, that you felt a strong attachment for Miss Adams. I? But how? You were there. As I said, we are allies. I never lose touch with my allies. I take care of my allies. And when they are afflicted with grief, I sympathize. I... I didn't speak about it to anyone. No, and that's perfectly normal. It's your secret. Thanks, all the same. But, uh, tell me, why do you want to follow Mortimer all of a sudden? Mortimer is planning something. We don't know everything. He must have something up his sleeve to be so confident. Ah, really? And what do you think that might be? Let's see what he knows. All of this is just a show. He has contacted all those we represent. What do you mean? That everything is already decided in higher spheres. William Frederick, the King of Spain, the Pope, William Pitt. I don't understand. Lord Mortimer has invited those who work in the wings of power to take a hand in swaying the decisions of those who actually hold it. Everything is already played out. He has already won. <laughs> How is this possible? We've all underestimated him. He's fooled us. We're done for. Look, it all hinges on the next few hours, Johan. Look, I hear everything you're saying, but there is no chance that Mortimer can make us all change sides. That is why Sir Gregory can but win. You understand? Think again. It's already too late. Ah, I'm getting a bad feeling. Now... You're the last one left. Your loyalty toward Gregory is honorable, but no longer makes any sense. If you don't change your mind, you'll be venturing into dangerous waters for no valid reason. Unless it's to win. Yes, but at what price? Think of all those who... who will be hostile toward you afterwards. Just think about it rationally, I mean it. Prussia has nothing directly at stake, so why put your position or your life in the balance? I... I hear you. Honestly, betraying Gregory is... Well, it's... 
It's unthinkable. Unless I simply don't have any choice. Yes, he's finally cracked. Thank you for warning me. You're welcome. There is nothing more natural between allies. I did what I could. Now, it's up to you. As for me, I'll vote for Mortimer. Good luck to you. Good luck. Good. I mustn't lose too much time. See you later, my Lord Duke. Have a nice rest. What is... Yes! Yes! At last, I found it! al -Zif. Well, you gotta admit, you did give us a run for our money. Huh? What? A page has been torn out. Louis, there you are. Well, tell me, how did it go? I did my best. Whom did you manage to persuade? Father, before we start, I have a favor to ask of you. Do you really think this is the right time to ask? Yes. It might give you the impression that I'm forcing you, but... I'm listening. It's about Emma. Help her, please. What do you mean? She's in a bad way, Father. She's your daughter. We need to get her off the island as soon as possible. Her state of health concerns me greatly, and she needs to be cared for. She's losing her mind. Hmm. You are aware that she's Sir Gregory's guest, not mine. I'm not the only one who decides these things. I'm sure you could persuade him. All right. I'll have a word with him. Now, tell me who you've managed to bring over to us. Well, there's no point in wasting any time. I'm proud to report they've all come over to our side. Ha <laughs> ha, Louis, I'm impressed. I was sure you'd succeed. I'm proud of you, my son. Even Johan? How did you manage to do it? I possessed Godoy. You possessed Godoy, of course. Very ingenious of you, I must say. Son, you've accomplished a veritable tour de force. I couldn't have done better myself. Now, we are ready. The conference may begin. Assemble everyone in the conference room. Meet me there and let's get it over with. My friends, here we are at last, gathered together to close this conference. I would first of all like to thank you all for making the time to be here and lend your services. Gregory, I, I believe I may speak for both of us when I say that we are honored by your presence here. You, you are perfectly right to do so, William. Thank you for putting your faith in us and for coming here to participate in this conference. Thank you for helping us to make the best decisions. And I especially want to thank you, William, for, for perfectly hosting us at your home during these past several days. I'm not sure all the guests would agree to that. In any case, Holm doesn't seem to be himself. Duchess Hillsborough will also not be voting. The poor woman has suffered a lot of upheaval lately. As she was feeling quite poorly, she apologizes, but she preferred to return to the continent. The Duchess? I hope it's nothing serious. Don't worry, Mr. President. I had someone escort her. The Duchess simply needs rest, and now she is in good hands. I must say, Sir Gregory, you are beset by bad luck. Indeed. One would think that I am hounded by ill fortune. Good. I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France? Monsieur de Richet? I vote for. Duke Manuel? For. Your eminence? Four. But I... Gregory, please. Monsieur Napoleon? Four. Mr. Von Volner? Four. What? Gregory, but... please refrain from interrupting the voting. You know the rules, brother. President Washington? Four. The votes are now cast. The project is therefore approved. Dirty traitor! Mr. Godoy. Soon you will be in charge of passing the territory of Louisiana over to France. It will be done. What have you done? Me? Nothing, dear brother. What have you done to me? What have I done? Nothing, Gregory. You did it yourself. A word of advice. 
In the future, oh, that is, if you have one, don't drink someone else's cup of tea without checking what's in it. Father, what happened? Sir Gregory, what's the matter? William, what have you done? Not now. Oh. You... You are mad, William! Father will... Father will punish you for... for this! He will probably try, unless I get to him first. But I... cannot die! No, you cannot die. You are, however, losing all sense of reason, as well as all your special abilities. What? What? What did I drink? Can't you guess? There are but few things that can have such an effect on such as we. You would know that if you ever ventured even a little way off of Father's beaten track. I... Revenge! Oh, no, my dear Gregory. You will not be taking any revenge. You will die stupidly, alone, enclosed in that rather withered body. Help! Help me! After several centuries Help. of near absolute power, here you find yourself on your hands and knees, hoping in vain that someone is going to help you. Tell me, what does that feel like? Never happened to me. Can't be good. You cannot leave your body. You cannot project yourself elsewhere. You cannot even contact father. Go ahead. Try. But you are my brother. So I ask you to remember that all this is your own fault. And I want you to understand I get absolutely no pleasure out of it. Well, very little. <laughs> you swine! A new order is born today, brother. Enough of father's hegemony. After all these years of servitude, I can finally stand up and oppose it. You chose to serve him, whatever his excesses, now it's up to you to face the consequences of that choice. Whoa. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> I am stronger than, than you! What? But... What on earth is happening? Am I dreaming, or...? Louis, it's me, Gregory. Listen, we don't have much time. But where are we? Louis, I brought us here. You must act swiftly. I can't hold out for long. William has poisoned me. He must have used the blood of a former demon. I am no longer able to enter the body of someone else. The poison is gnawing away at me from the inside. I... I'm going to die, Louis. But where are we? In the ether. What you see is not real. It's only a mental projection created by my spirit. I'm occupying William's spirit at the moment, but I'm not going to be able to keep it up forever. Join me, Louis. Otherwise, all will be lost. Yes. Yes, I'll join you. Find a way. Hurry. I must find them quickly. What am I doing here now? N nothing seems real. You're nothing but a coward. What a bunch of amuses you are. Please, keep calm. What on earth is going on here? I don't understand a thing. Louis, don't waste any time. Appease them. My thoughts are becoming confused. Help me. Be quick. Yes. Not a minute to lose. I won't let him attack his brother. That's not really Elizabeth. It's another demon who wants to protect home from Mortimer. On a symbolic level, he should be placed between the two of them. I have to protect my sister. Help me, Louis. Emma is completely lost. She needs to be close to her sister. As for Emily, well, she no longer trusts anyone. Apart from me, that is. I have to stay by her side. Stay with me, Louis. We must take Alazif back from him. 
One thing is for sure. My mother and Volnor have the same objective. To find that book. They're following the same trail and, and must be close to each other. like I've succeeded. They've all disappeared. Louis, it's worked. But don't waste any time. Yes, I'm coming. At least as soon as I found the exit. Emily? Louis? Louis? Who on earth is... Louis, where are you? I can't see you. In front of you, Emily. She can't see me? Louis, are you dead too? It's complicated. I thought Emma killed you. Oh, yes, that's right. She still doesn't know everything I found out. I understand that it must be difficult to forgive her, but if you think about it, salvation won't be found in anger, Emily. It's all so unfair, Louis. A part of me does understand her actions. To hell with good intentions. On the contrary, I believe now is the perfect time to decide how you want to live your life, in bitterness or in peace. Think about it, Emily. But I thought, how is it that you are here? Can you move around? I'm going to have to be a bit blunt here, Emily. You'll have to excuse me, but it's quite baffling. Mortimer and Holm are age-old spirits who can change bodies. I... what? They're demons. Louis, are you feeling all right? And I am one too. Louis, you don't seem very well at all. <sighs> because William Mortimer is my father, and he's yours too. Yours and Emma's. <sighs> He's bestowed certain powers on me, like how to read a human mind, and even how to control it. Look, I know, it, it's a lot to take in. Are you all right? Yes. Actually, no. How do you expect me to feel? It would be easier if you told me you'd simply lost your mind, or even that I've lost my mind, which would at least make some sense. If only something inside me didn't vibrate at the sound of your words. I'm not making it up, Emily. You've got to believe me. And where are we then? In the ether, I think. Think of it as a psychic dimension. Oh, well, that explains it then. Do you have any more bedtime stories like that? Well, you are dead. Yes, of course I am. I should have known. Ask a stupid question. Yes, I know, Emily. It's, it's hard to believe, but even if it seems insane, I, I assure you that it's all true. We are dead, and we're talking in the ether. Well, not exactly. You see, I'm not dead. What? But if you are here without being dead, then there must be a way out. Help me, Louis. I am begging you, help me. I'll do everything I can to find a solution. You... you promise? Yes, trust me. I must go. Wait, wait, don't leave me. F for pity's sake, Louis. But I must if I'm, I'm to find a solution. Be brave, Emily. Yes, I understand. I trust you. I'll be back for you, I promise. I must be quick. My memories. I, I'm losing my sense of who I... Louis? Are you there? Yes. Yes, I'm here. Pick up the thread of my thoughts, Louis. Of my memories. Make haste! It was at a trap right, right from, from the, the start. start. At the previous conference three years ago, I'm sure he already knew I would bring the Hillsborough sisters here. He knew it! He knew it! He already knew they were his daughters! Previous conference? That's when Mortimer started putting his plan into action. That's how this whole thing began. At the previous conference three years ago, I'm sure he already knew I would bring this the This is the Hillsborough first sisters. event that brought home here. Oh yeah, I'm on the right track. He allowed me to bring Emily back again to this conference, supposedly to find her sister, whereas Emma hadn't even disappeared yet. The poor wretch was shot as her sister was setting foot on the island. I should have understood that earlier. It's about my first vision on the island, the day of my arrival. 
This could be the beginning of the story, yet Holm is talking about bringing Emily back again. So there must have been something before this. He allowed me to bring Emily back again to this conference. Hmm. Supposedly to find I'm on the right track here. And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? Louis de Richer, his son. He brings his four children together, and even then I didn't react. This is about my arrival, as well as Emily's. There must be an earlier memory that talks about my sisters. And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? I'm getting closer to him. And when Elizabeth disappeared, I... No, it's not possible. I couldn't have missed that. Not me. He cut me off from our father, and I didn't say a word. Elizabeth's presence was crucial for home. If she was still here, he'd still be alive. This memory is important without a shadow of a doubt. It took place after my arrival with Emily and Cardinal Biaggi, but well before I found out the truth about my nature. He cut me off from our father, and I didn't say a word. And One when more. Elizabeth... He feeds Louis, and I continue to see nothing. He stuffed his poor son with an occult knowledge that we usually take months to give to our children. And Louis is only trying his best to get by. He doesn't realize he's being led to the slaughter. So Holmes seems certain that Mortimer has been using me. But I get the impression that he's only had this vision recently. It's one of the last ones he had. He stuffed his poor son with an occult knowledge that we Can't usually the end here. And the cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. He knew I would drink it. The rascal knows me better than I do myself. The blood that Mortimer used is deadly poison for a demon. Home won't survive it. Oh, it's over for him. He's finished. And the cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. He trapped me. He poisoned me to stop me from being able to leave this body. He cut off all communication with father and brought his children here. How could I not have seen it earlier? He's going to absorb me. The traitor! No one can stop him now. Hurry, Louis. I absolutely must see you before it's too late. If you have managed to follow my thoughts, come to me. Quickly! What's happening? I can sense him. He's here. He's trying to get inside me, Louis. William has completely lost his mind. He's getting ready to pull out all the stops. He's going to devour my mind, Louis. I'm not going to be able to stop him. Louis, you are here. I sense your presence. What? But he can't even see me. Congratulations, my son. You have succeeded in joining us. Louis, don't let him draw you in there. You are signing your death warrant if you decide to follow him. I won't be there to protect you. It's over, my son. We have won. A new order can be born. Louis, I'm so weak. I can feel him entering. I... I can no longer keep him out. He's... He's coming. He's here. I can can you see him? He's here. He's coming closer to you. Where? Louis. I don't want to just disappear. He's inside my mind. I can feel him crushing me. He's just in front of you. I'm so sorry, brother. There's nothing you can do to stop me now. You made your choice, and you have lost. <laughs> I was wrong about him from the very beginning. He's mad. He must be stopped. 
You can still do something, Louis. Don't let him get away with all this so easily. I implore you. Look at yourself, Uncle. You're just as bad as he is. Despite being centuries old, despite all the wisdom you should have acquired, I don't believe in you, nor do I believe in him. You can count on me to do my utmost so that neither of you will succeed in your plans. Louis, it's over for me. It's up to you now to protect our family. Find your sister, Louis. She'll know what to do. What are you saying? Find her. It's over, brother. Don't fight it. You will be punished for this. Perhaps. But you won't be there to see it, will you? You will be punished! Ah, uh, uh, I... Where am I? It's all right, son. Don't panic. It's over. Uh, I'm back? Where are the guests? I invited them to go up to their rooms. They're resting. Don't worry. Gregory? We won, Louis. It's over. He's dead? Definitively. Now the way is clear. At any rate, rejoice. Great things await us. What did you do to him? I devoured his soul. You... but I didn't see you use the Holy Lance. Indeed not. I didn't need to. Can't you guess how I did it? The Lance of Longinus is just a vessel, Louis. It could have been any object that had the blood of Christ on it. The blood of an ancient, more precisely. But I didn't need the blood of an ancient. You see, I have been in dear Lord Mortimer's physical body for longer than my brother has been in Sir Gregory Holmes. Therefore, I am an ancient, Louis. He was your brother. Why did you kill him? He never meant you any harm. Oh, Louis, I, I am exhausted. Let's talk about this later. No, tell me why now. I want to understand. <sighs> Stubborn as a mule. After centuries of trying to convince him, I assure you I had no other option than to do away with him. He would never have allowed me to depose our father. In the past, he had already opposed me, and sometimes very violently. He seemed to you like a man of peace, because you did not represent any danger to him. But I can assure you, he was not. With anything to do with our father, he would be merciless. In any case, what's done is done. I'm going to rest in the dining room. Join me there when you're ready. The time has come to end this little antisocial gathering. No doubt about it. This family is rotten to the marrow. I did right not to trust them. Holm told me that my last resort was to find my sister. I hope Emma will be able to help me. Well, I hope Emma is fully recovered. I Emma, excuse me for turning up Louis, like- Louis, your timing is perfect. I'm not so sure. Holm is dead. Killed by Mortimer? How'd you know that? Holm. He warned me that it was probably going to happen. Looks like she's better. Louis, I have brought Emily back from the ether. I beg your pardon? It was the last thing Holm did, as if to give us a chance of making it through. He guided me step by step just before he disappeared. Unfortunately, I could only bring her back in the body of a servant. Are you serious? You brought her back in the body of a man? Have you seen many women on the island? No. So I had to make do, and anyway, she'll have all the time she needs to find another body if we get out of here alive. I don't think now is the right time to be cherry-picking bodies. I don't want to rush you, but time is short. We are in great danger. When Holmes sensed his death was imminent, he warned me that we would be next. It was to be expected. But why attack us? Good God! I know what he's thinking. He's obsessed with Cronus and Zeus. That's true, but what's the connection? He thinks he's both. Now one, now the other. What do you mean? Looking at the statue in the Great Hall, it's easy to imagine him as Zeus. And by doing away with his brother, he's about to start a war of the gods. I'll bet he's planning to attack his father, Emma. And besides that, he also thinks he's Cronus, devouring his children to ensure that none of his sons will turn against him. 
Hmm. In mythology, Kronos doesn't attack his daughters, if I remember rightly. Are you serious? Do you really want to take that chance? No, no, I was just saying. You can count on us. You wouldn't know how to defeat an ancient, child-eating, all-powerful demon, would you? Well, believe it or not, he gave me the answer himself. We're gonna need the blood from a demon older than him. And it just so happens that I have the Holy Lance. It touched the blood of Christ. What's the connection? <laughs> You're not trying to say that Christ is... I'll have to ask you to trust me on this one. Once this is over, we'll all have a few bones to pick, but for the time being... All right. All right. We'll follow you. Good. Let's go then. Are you sure you're ready? You were all right? Yes. Yes, I feel a lot better. It's... it's all a bit strange. Sister, I believe we're ready for the end game. Johan. Louis, uh, I haven't the time. What are you doing? I'm getting out of here, what do you think? And going as far away as possible. Sir Gregory is dead. And in case you haven't grasped it yet, I am no longer safe here. If you value your life, you had better do the same. Hey, 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 wait a no, second. No, no, I haven't time. Good luck in the future. Louis, there you are. Look, she's better. Perfect. Good. Are you ready, Louis? Can we go? Yes. Let's get it over with. Louis, I've been expecting... Oh, I see you haven't come alone. To what do I owe the honor, Duchess? I thought this discussion should concern the whole family. Surprise, father. Emily, you brought her back from the ether. Well, I am impressed, my children. It's over, father. We can't let you go on like this. Enough! Ah! Louis! Who on earth do you think you are, for heaven's sake? Did you think I wouldn't know what you are planning? You are mere insects compared to me. You never had a chance. Help! My head! Let's do it! Now! Ah, how dare you! Keep going, it's working! You creatures are pitiful. Tell me, Emma, are you sure you are right to bring your sister back in that grotesque body? On the contrary, Emma, Emily will be able to exist by herself. Once she's changed bodies, you'll finally be able to live your own separate lives. No more resentment or comparisons ever again. We'll be free at last, Emma. Perfect. Emily, you have always been the dominant one. And you expect me to believe that you're now going to simply hand over your whole life's work? You can't fool me, my girl. I can read you like a book. Emma, he's lying. Don't listen to him. He'd do anything to undermine us. No, it's true, Louis. The Emily I knew would never have accepted such humiliation. Emma, no. Trust me. She spent her life creating this identity, day after day, and playing the main role. And you think now she's going to agree to be your servant? I am sure you have already planned your vengeance. Damn it, she's yielding. No, Emma. Stay calm, I beg you. You're playing right into his hands. Emma, my dear daughter, let me help you. You have won. Look, you have it all. You are Duchess Hillsborough. You are rich. You are young, beautiful, influential. I'm so proud of you. You are the one I've been waiting for. You know what she's like. You know she harbors vengeance in her heart. She'll never let you have all this to yourself. Never, I beseech you. Let me help you. Let me protect you, darling. Emma, look at her. Look at Emily. You know her. She knows you. But I... Go on, look at her. It is her. She loves you. She's counting on you. Emma, help us. My sister. Get here! Do it! It's over. You've lost. No, no, no! Stop! Oh, oh. <laughs> my son! You will regret your actions when you see him. Come, Louis. It's over. Let's leave.
As Mortimer had planned, Napoleon Bonaparte sold Louisiana to the United States after purchasing it from Spain. Bonaparte continued his political and military ascension until he proclaimed himself emperor. He went on to invade a large part of Central Europe. The legend of Napoleon persisted after his death, conferring on the emperor the role of Messiah for France. Remaining very popular, George Washington put an end to the various internal rebellions without violence and re-established trade agreements with Great Britain. Upon his death, he became a national hero and left an entire nation in a state of mourning. On his return to Spain, Manuel Godoy proceeded to give Louisiana up to France. Later on, he became the target of the Crown Prince of Spain, Ferdinand VII. The latter gave no respite to his mother's lover, going as far as condemning him to exile. He confiscated all of Manuel's titles and possessions, as well as those of his mistress, Pepita. Pursued, they ended up living out their last years in France in poverty and anonymity. The influence von Volner had over King Frederick William ironically ended up working against him. The sovereign thrust him into increasing repression until the end of his reign. Von Volner became the object of the people's hatred, was therefore stripped of his titles and land by the new king, and died in poverty to general indifference in the Prussian countryside. The Duchess, enabling Great Britain to build closer ties with the United States on both political and commercial fronts, was her last diplomatic feat. She gradually withdrew from the English court and had to retire in the country, supported by her ever-present friend, the author Jane Austen. Some say that the Duchess inspired Austen's novel, Emma, which became a bestseller in 1816. His eminence was obliged to justify himself on his return from the British Isles over the letter he had sent to His Holiness. Unable to say more about the superior dark forces that he had spoken of, his mental health was brought into question. He was consequently withdrawn from papal state power and became preferable to speak politely about a faraway retreat when referring to his anonymous confinement in an asylum of Rome. Sarah de Richet never returned from her trip to the English Isles. Her disappearance spelled the end of the Golden Order and was the object of gossip for almost three days at the court of France. On his return from Paris, Peru resigned from his posting as judge at the revolutionary courts. He withdrew to the south of France with his daughter until his death. No more was ever heard of Lord William Mortimer. His sudden disappearance was the subject of conversations in the European courts, but only for a few months.